To better understand this, we're joined by Yasmina Creamy in Brussels. She's a North Africa analyst at the Brussels International Center. Well, thanks for joining us. And, you know, we've seen just over the past few weeks, Kais Saeed continuing to consolidate power. In the last few days, we saw a senior official of the Anata party detained. Uh, we've seen the extension of these so-called emergency measures in the country, uh, another year of this. So what is it with these now consultations asking for people's input? What is the goal here? Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, well, uh, the goal is most likely for the president to obtain a plebiscite on his um, his rule and uh, uh, the new system that he intends to implement in Tunisia. We are not sure what are the contours of this new system, but uh, um, as he has been criticizing extensively political parties uh, and uh, representative democracy, um, perhaps it is a form of direct democracy uh, with him at the head of the system that um, he, you know, he, he intends to implement in Tunisia. Now, you talked about the consultation. The consultation was supposed to start uh, January 1st. So yesterday, uh, the website is not ready yet. So it has been delayed and pushed to the 15th of January. And this tells you a lot about the unpreparedness uh, of, uh, of the state to uh, engage in such a uh, high-scale initiative. Um, um, I am not sure if we ask Tunisians today if um, they understand the stakes of this consultation slash referendum, because he has been using, the president has been using interchangeably those two words. Uh, I am not sure if people understand what are the stakes, and uh, I am not sure either um, if uh, we understand uh, how are we going to synthesize uh, multiple, multiple, um, you know, co consultate or multiple opinions, and then, you know, um, um, concretize them in uh, a new uh, constitution. Also, uh, we haven't been talking uh, about internet access, about engagement and how to ensure engagement, about really um, something of that scale, how to prepare and how to make sure that first, people are engaging and giving their opinions. Second, we can uh, ensure um, the uh, anonymity, um, uh, their anonymity and the anonymity of the data. And third, most importantly, how can we monitor uh, the whole process, us as citizens um, and as a stakeholders in general, how can we monitor and make sure that the committee that is uh, appointed uh, by the president to prepare a new constitution is really taking into account uh, the opinions of the citizens? Yeah, it's unclear how much trust there can really be in this process when there has been so much anger and opposition to the president calling his actions a coup. Yasmin, thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>